Hi, and welcome to Mailbag. I've got a whole bunch of stuff here today. And for those who've expressed concern at my using uh, an exposed blade, I brought my knife. No clues there. Okay, so this is another of the metal bars I've ordered, and this one is actually labelled as lead. All become clear in time. Okay, these are some side cutters. They should be able to cut things flush. So there's a couple of times when I've regretted not having a half decent set of these. So these are $16.99 on Amazon. I didn't pay for delivery because I've got Amazon Prime. I picked these because I watched a review of kind of mid-price side cutters on YouTube, but unfortunately I can't find that review video to link it. The conclusion was that these were the better ones in this general price range. Okay, that doesn't say which metal it is. It's light, it's probably aluminium. Might have to do a little bit of research though. You know, I think that is magnesium and I think I've discovered a small problem in that twice now I've ordered magnesium that was 8 or 10 mil diameter and both times now I've gotten a, a larger bar. I'll double check the order details to confirm it but 16 mil could have been 8 mil radius and I could have just been an idiot. Ah, okay. Right, so this is an electronics kit for a logic probe. Now, I kind of ordered a couple of kits on eBay. And I've kind of got double reasons for some of them. Been a few times when I've been poking a logic line with a multimeter and they're not very responsive they're designed more for accuracy of result so I thought a logic probe might be uh, an interesting thing to have this was three pounds and 99 small little project I'm hoping it'll be uh, an interesting build and I might get a little bit of use out of it interesting on that Okay, these are crocodile clips. This was an eBay purchase, £2.99. This particular listing has ended, but there's plenty more like it. Conveniently large enough to uh, make an electrical connection to these bars. has been very well wrapped. Okay, so these are bits of spring steel. Some nice slow oscillation. And these are one of those things that I ordered after coming up with a crazy little idea for something to build and 
I think you will find it interesting if I get round to it. Be careful though, these are oily. Probably for the best, this stuff does rust, I think. Okay, big box. I know exactly what this is because I ordered it last week. So this is a DigiKey parts order. Right, so that's PIC 12F 1840. Now, I ordered a few of those because I looked at all the PICs that I've got in my box of chips and absolutely none of them have a digital to analog converter. And so I selected this one and grabbed it. So 74HTT253, it's the four in one multiplexer. So those are the chips that we use in the ALU. These are 16 SOIC variants. So this kind of preparation work for doing a PCB of the ALU. These are 256K RAM chips. Now, somewhere in here, Yeah. I won't open that up, but um, this particular chip was one of the few I could find that had a dip version and a surface mount one. So I'm going to be using these for the main memory in the processor build, and I wanted to order these at the same time. So you'll see me use the dip version soon, and then the uh, Surface mount ones are, are ready for later. Okay, 74HCT157. Those are the two to one multiplex chips for the transfer register. And that's the 541 line driver chips, which I seem to get through endless amounts of those. I think I've made a mistake with those though. Those are TSSOP ones. They are tiny. Okay, now, one of the reasons why I'm, I've put this order in and I'm doing this mailbag is because I spent the last uh, couple of evenings designing the PCB for the transfer register and I have to complete that before I can look at turning it into a video to show you. And it is, uh, it is a bit of a struggle to fit everything in. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do it, but it might take me a couple more evenings to uh, do a lot of manual routing on that board. But maybe if I use these things, it would be easier, but then I'd have a, a tougher job of the soldering. Give me your uh, opinion in the comments. Okay, quickly getting the microscope out. That is the regular 541 that I've been using in the build PCB so far. And this is the TSSOP ones. They are absolutely minuscule. I suppose I could give it a try, but I'm a bit worried it would look a bit out of place next to the other boards. Okay, so that's the HCT 283s. Those are the adder chips from the ALU. So I think I've got most of the parts I need for the ALU now. All right. Okay, so this is another eBay kit. And this one is what claims to be a Tesla coil. Slightly more complicated kit. Now I've seen uh, a couple of comments online, apparently this isn't from a circuit 
perspective it's not a real Tesla coil. So it might be fun to experiment with it after it's working and see if uh, it can be adapted. Slightly annoying thing about this particular kit was literally a couple of days after I ordered it I was um, randomly watching some older videos of somebody I subscribe to, Pile of Stuff, and he had a video assembling what looks to be exactly the same kit or something very close to it. Yeah, it doesn't feel as, uh, as clever now. I'll probably still build it at some point, but I'll uh, provide a link to his, uh, his build. Okay, so this kit was 489 on eBay. Quite a few components for uh, that price. Should be a fun little build. Okay, that's another one of those. I did not intentionally order two. Um, I've got a sneaking suspicion I've made a mistake and one of the metals I was expecting isn't going to turn up now. Okay, I will double check my eBay history. Quick addendum. This arrived in between the recording and finishing the editing of that video. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. In my last CPU build video, I commented that the breadboards can be very difficult because they only have five terminals on each side and for some wiring jobs that's uh, not a lot. And David Watts commented leading me to find these ones. They have six tie points. Could be pretty handy in some situations. Doesn't line up at all with my existing boards, but I want to have a play around with these. I might need another one. Thanks for the tip off, David. Okay, well, I hope you found it interesting. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.